What's up everyone? So back with another video here. Uh, so I'll start with the channel update first and then I'll show what's going to be probably the last pickups video that I'm going to put on this channel. So what I would like to say for the future of this channel is that I'm going to be moving away from game collecting specific videos, but it's not going to be the death of the channel by any means necessary. I just want to kind of focus on doing different things. I feel like uh, game collecting the way that I used to do it on this channel is just not very interesting for people to watch anymore. Not very interesting for me to do anymore. And yeah, like I said, I just want to like do something different. So I'm not going to do like Let's Plays or this channel is not going to be for Twitch VODs or anything like that. What I do want to do is kind of move towards more scripted content and then kind of mix in my, like the games that I already have in my collection, find interesting ways to talk about them, plus mix in some other fun stuff. So I have a very kind of thought out idea of what I want to do for it. I've already started working towards it and hopefully pretty soon here, I'll be able to like actually start uploading uh, the new content to this channel. But anyways, yeah, just want to get that out of the way. <laughs> and uh, like I said, I've been gone for a while. I'm sure people have gotten used to it by now or have just unsubscribed from the channel. <laughs> uh, but anyways, onto the video game pickups. So I've actually been finding a lot of really good deals around lately. Like I feel like in general, people are losing interest in game collecting, it kind of feels like. And then people are just selling off things that they had. <laughs> like obviously the, the valuable things are probably gonna stay valuable for a long time. But some of the other stuff is at least starting to come down in price. So hit up some of the local thrift stores and these are my finds. So I found uh, this Peter Pan game, Peter Pan in Return to Neverland. I actually kind of heard these Peter Pan, I think there's multiple of these. There's like two of them or something. But Peter Pan PS1 games, these are kind of like uh, 2D side-scrolling platformers. And I actually heard that these are pretty decent games, but like pretty, pretty fun games. The next game is going to be this game called Black Dawn. So I went to The Grid, a Goodwill's like kind of electronic store slash video game store. And I I was digging through the shelves there. A few years ago, the, the grid used to have a massive selection and then it kind of just dwindled off. I will say it is bigger than it used to be, but it's still pretty small compared to what it was in its heyday. <laughs> but uh, I found this game there and this kind of looks like uh, like an old Namco shooter, but like you're in a helicopter and it's got like old PS1 slash Sega Saturn, early 3D kind of polygon graphics to it. And I thought it looked pretty cool and then it was like five bucks. So it was like, you know, it's kind of worth the gamble. <laughs> the next game up is going to be an OG Xbox game, Dark Summit. I think this is kind of like a, like an action adventure game, uh, but with snowboarding action mixed in with it. Uh, I was looking at the back of this box and kind of reading about it and I thought it'd be kind of interesting to play. And yeah, I like, I really love OG Xbox games. <laughs> like. There's something about OG Xbox games when compared to like other 6 gen consoles that I find it just be like really endearing. There's a lot of like really strange, really fun games. Uh, Maximum Chase was probably like the most recent uh, OG Xbox game that I played that was just like so ridiculously fun. Okay, next one up, it's gonna be an Xbox 360 game. I actually don't have that many Xbox 360 games. So, um, Pretty much any time I run across Xbox 360 games, they're, <laughs> they're going to be new to me. So I got this game called Universe at War, and it's like an RTS game. And uh, like old RTS games, not MOBAs, not, not like stuff like They Are Millions, whatever, <laughs> whatever kind of genre that actually is, but like actual RTS games where you build things and you like fight your enemy. Uh, I, this is probably one of my favorite genres to ever exist and the genre itself is basically dead in 2022. So anytime I come across an RTS game, I'll give it a try. Uh, and then this one just kind of like looks really awesome. It kind of looks like, uh, kind of like Starcraft, I guess. Uh, and I've never seen this game, never heard of it. Don't know if it's any good or not, but cheap enough for me to, to take a chance with it. Okay. Still going along the Xbox 360 lines, like I said, my Xbox 360 collection is super tiny. <laughs> uh, so this game is called Kingdom Under Fire, Circle of Doom. Uh, this is an action RPG. I'm just going based off of the back of this box when I was in the store, just like looking at it. 
uh, reading about it, it seemed kind of cool. The graphics seemed pretty cool. And um, yeah, it just <laughs> seems like a fantasy uh, action RPG game. So uh, this is the last Xbox 360 game, but it's going to be one called Chrome Hounds. I don't know anything about this game other than <laughs> it's a Sega published game and it has giant mechs. And it's also a FromSoft developed game. So uh, I feel like all of these things kind of pointed towards something worth taking a risk on. <laughs> and if it's not a great game, then it's not a great game. Or if it's an amazing game, then I'm all for it. Uh, like Armored Core is another series made by FromSoft. So I don't know if this is a game in the Armored Core series or if they just took their experience with giant mech <laughs> like combat games and then just made this new thing. But it seems like it's gonna be a pretty cool game to play. We got a couple PS2 games here. First one up, it's gonna be one called King Arthur. This I think is like a licensed game based on that kind of crappy movie that came out. Uh, but when I was looking at this, I saw that it was like Konami published and it's been forever since I've played a Konami game, largely because Konami doesn't really like make or publish games <laughs> anymore. Uh, but when I saw that this was a Konami game and then the combat looked like it was an action RPG or at least like an action adventure game, I thought it'd be kind of interesting, at least give it a shot. <laughs> um, like I thought about looking up video for some of these games before buying them, but you know, like a lot of these games were cheap enough where it's like, you know, whatever. These are the kind of games that I like coming across because like there's a good chance that this might be actually pretty fun to play. If anything, this could be a fun game to play like on Twitch or something like that. Just a game that ends up being so bad that it's good or a game that ends up being really good. <laughs> Which sets up this next game. <laughs> it's gonna be SeaWorld Adventure Park, Shamu's Deep Sea Adventures. So when I was looking at the cover of this game, I kind of thought that this was just gonna be kind of a garbage license game of some sort. <laughs> but like looking at the back, it actually seems like it plays like Echo the Dolphin. And so I was like, you know, maybe this might be worth giving it a try. I don't expect this game to be good at all. <laughs> but like if it plays anything like Echo the Dolphin, then I don't know, maybe it's worth it. It was like $3 or something like that. So <laughs> definitely worth giving this game a try. So I went to a local thrift store one day and on the bottom shelf of one of the game racks, I saw two TurboGrafx games. Hard to miss Turbo Graphics games. They stand out pretty, uh, pretty, pretty uh, heavily. And um, yeah, just like they were there. And like all these people were looking at the game section and nobody was paying these games any mind. So I immediately went and grabbed them just to like see <laughs> what kind of condition they were in. And uh, so they were complete in box. So the first one's going to be Bonk's Adventure. Comes with the outer box. And like that was the part that like grabbed my attention because finding outer boxes for Turbo Graphics games is super freaking difficult <laughs> and so yeah you got box adventure here and uh came with the the box has the game like game and manual in the case cue card in really good condition manual in really good condition and yeah <laughs> this wasn't even in a glass case which i found even stranger um so I was like thinking maybe they just got busy and decided to put the games out on the uh, on the shelf without really like doing much digging into it. <laughs> and then the other game was this one called Bloody Wolf, which is kind of like a side-scrolling run-and-gun shooter like Contra. And uh, it looks really cool. And uh, this is another one where it came with the box <laughs> and everything was in really good condition. I think this box is actually in better condition than Bonk's Adventure, but case with manual. Hue card was in there. Manual was in there. All of it's in really good condition. But yeah, just still pretty shocked to see these just sitting sitting out on the uh, the shelf and not in a glass case. Like it's really weird. They have uh, they have some garbage games in the glass cases uh, at this store, but they didn't have those Turbo Graphics games in there. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, so yeah, those are my pickups. That's probably, like I said, going to be my last pickups video on this channel. If I can successfully <laughs> kind of shift uh, the type of content that I put on this channel. I'm going to keep all the videos that currently exist on this channel up and open and available. And um, yeah, like I, I just want to 
kind of move towards doing the things that I find like as an outlet to relieve stress and like just have some form of creativity. And so like, if I'm happy with the videos, I want to be like, I'm cool with that. Like I want to be fine with that. And if they don't get views, they don't get views, whatever. And if they do get views and people enjoy them, then that's just kind of a bonus. But I just want to kind of like, I don't know if people can tell, but like with game collecting stuff, I just don't find it that interesting to to do videos on really anymore. It used to be really fun here on YouTube when there was like a community of smaller channels centered around game collecting and the kind of like you could bounce ideas off of each other, collaborate with other people, talk about games. And like there's just more discussion about the games themselves. And then just over the years, it's all just become about value and how much something is worth. And like, that's just not, not a conversation that I find interesting or fun or that I have really any input on. Uh, and so I just want to shift away from that. But anyways, uh, thanks for sticking through this video. I hope 2022 is treating everybody well. I think this is actually my first video of 2022. <laughs> and um, yeah, I guess until the next time, have a good one. Peace.